Hey guys, what's up? In front of me, I have the Z4. I super, super, super love this car, lor. Even though, yeah, I know, I know, my my love for my Miata will always be there. But this is a very nice car to drive as well. So let's talk about it right now. So trivia: Did you know why this is called the Z series and uh, what the Z actually stand for? So the Z on this car actually means future, Zukunft. Yep, and that's a German word. So let's take you around a bit. Okay, so when you look at this car, you'll see that it has a very typical roadster feel, which is long bonnet, two-seater, be minimalistic, and a soft top. The reason why they chose soft top and not come out with a hard top, and I'm pretty sure they're not coming out with a hard top, anywhere near the future anywhere in the near future because the soft top gives um, the designers a free way to actually design it in a more masculine way when you have the hard top according to them it's pretty rigid and you can't really do anything with a hard top design so with the soft top it's more flexible to play around with the design and I'm gonna say it actually looks like a very masculine car even though a lot of roadsters look like um, very feminine car but this one I must say it does look like a masculine car let's start with the front okay. all right so the front here what actually stands out the most is the lights now we all know BMW's lights is always horizontal it's never one on top of the other this is actually very different for BMW to have lights stacked one on top of the other and uh, I, I don't know, like the more I look at it, guys tell me what you think, this actually looks like the 124 Spider to me. Yeah, it, it really does, you can tell me for yourself. Okay, the other thing that is different is check out the mesh grill. Usually BMW grills are vertical, line, 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 but this one is totally different as well. And um, I'm gonna emphasize on the bonnet, you can see it's an actual arrow leading up to mesh grill giving it a very futuristic a very forward type of design and uh, just going to open the bonnet for you am i in your shot yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. i'm just gonna open the okay i do my thing i'm just gonna open the bonnet so i can tell you how it actually looks like okay so this aluminium making it very light and uh, check this out. So the bonnet, usually it closes up until here, correct? But this bonnet, it covers all the way, making it seem like it's like a clamshell. And if you look at it, I, I look at it pretty long, like, okay, I get the whole clamshell feel right now. Yeah? Okay, so I'm just gonna close this. It's very, very hard with this because it's aluminium. It's very light. There we go. Not too bad, huh? All right, moving. To the side, this air intakes right here, this M Sport, and uh, see the line right here, also giving it a more lower to the ground feel, lower center of gravity. Moving to the back, I love the back. Don't know how much to emphasize that the back is so sexy. Been driving behind it for a while, gotta say, love the new tail lights. And I think this one is integrated properly. Did I open that up? I think I opened that off. I'm sorry. I think this one is integrated properly because this one is just one here and one here. However, the other one, there's one line in the middle and this is dual exhaust pipes as well. Very nice. Again, when you look at the front grille and you look at the back, you see the similarities of this area. So it's segmented again to two. And when you turn, turn it up. When you open it, that yeah, opens like that, very easy opening and the boot space I must say it's very spacious because why did another reason why they choose to have this soft top is because you have more boot space previous gens one it didn't have so much boot space and uh, yeah a lot of consumers were saying like eh, why do I have so much boot space but there's so much boot space for the newer one right guys there's something that I want to emphasize on this this reminds me so much of the SM Martin Vantage I mean just look at this lip um, very nice. I think this is a very sexy curve. Very sexy. I don't know. How do you call this? Spoiler? Integrated spoiler? 
very very sexy curves all right so i am currently in the interior of the z4 and this is the third generation z third generation z4 or if you want to consider this z3 as the first gen then this will be the fourth generation and i gotta say it's very beautiful the first the first gen of the z4 i loved the back i think the back was very beautiful the front the front as well, I guess. Like when I look at the second gen one, it looks a bit too sleek, but I like the Bodo Bodo look. The first Z4 had that. And there's this one, I go back to loving the back. I love the exterior a lot. However, the front, I'm I'm so so for it. I'm not to say like a big fan, like wow, so beautiful, but the back is wow, so beautiful. All right, let's get to the interior of the car right now. So, very normal. Um, this M Sport steering is a little bit bigger and I, I kind of like the grip. It used to be very tiring, but then again, I didn't drive a very long drive with this car. It was a short 20 minutes, so I can't say for sure how it feels like when I'm driving long distance. Yeah, you have your speed limiter, adaptive cruise control, your buttons are all here, it's telescopic, pedal shifters. On the right, uh, as I've said before in the 8 series, this is your light, so for the newer ones, you can actually choose whether or not to on your lights on the left or on the right. This is because sometimes you're parking at the side of the road and uh, you just want to illuminate certain parts of the car, be it left or right. You can choose right now, you don't have to illuminate both. Premium feature, uh, a place here, quite nice, very nicely. Ooh, the, the feel and touch is so nice. Okay. And uh, moving to the center console, again, similar to the 8 series. Um, the buttons here are very, adds a very nice touch to it. Rotary here as well, very nice touch to it. And this one, again, detail, similar to this one here. Very nice, you just turn here, the whole thing doesn't turn. And this one as well, the whole thing doesn't turn, so just that one turns thing, that's very nice. Um, I like all the angles actually. I like that it's, it has that design language to it. You see there's an angle here and then the angles here. Angle for the buttons as well. As well here, it's like a copy paste. And I love how it all, um, how it's all integrated. Hmm. Yep, including here as well, even though it's um, put, put separately, but there's also like a kind of angle here. And it's, I don't feel like it's labyrinth. It's not um, simply added, I think it's kind of well thought out. Um, however, here is not uh, soft plastic, it's kind of hard plastic, but it's not. I think you have quite a lot of space, I really don't know. I need Bobby here to see. Um, this is actually very nice. I like the center a lot. A little bit too much chrome for me. Um, I feel like you can actually put more, but I like the simplicity of how the center console looks. There's the Z4 here. Um, open it up. Uh, you have USB port, the 12 volt socket, and this is a wireless charger right here. Yeah. Dashboard again. There's uh, the whole angle, the whole design. You can see it from the bigger picture all the way down to the details which is what I, I think is really great you have your glove compartment also inside nice they wrapped it around with this soft touch material which is very nice kind of like felt but not really felt uh, again very subtle design so this you can see similarities of the BMW uh, let's move to the seats so you have sporty seats so I kind of like sit lower which I like and they have this why aerodynamics no it's just a design so there's just a hole here and you can be like hey guys does your seat have a hole mine does they have compartments at the back here which i love my nc doesn't have a compartment here i know and your speakers at the back so smart z4 yes because when you're driving you have the wind in your hair you have songs everything is good life is perfect yeah, this opens up to the back as well so I can put stuff in my boot, access it through here, amazing. I think this design is so good. If not, that's closed as well. And if this is closed, this can act like a compartment as well. Oh, so smart. Okay, this, as you can see, this is not symmetrical. That's the reason for that. So when I open this, 
you can see there are two cup holders here, yeah? So when I put stuff here, cups here, I can close this, have my armrest, and still put my cups here. So smart, I love it. There's so much attention to detail. And uh, there's also a Z4 here, hidden word here. Very nice. Also, Type-C USB charger. Oh, let's just check out how fast it is to open and drop the top, okay? So, oh, up the top. Let's up the top first. Now I'm going to up the top. Maybe you need no, to close uh, the top. Need one. Oh, there. Yeah. No. Guys, it's supposed to go up in 10 seconds. And you see, there's nothing here. You don't have to actually have a a button here or something where you have to make sure it's in place. No, this is fully it's done. When you drop the top, or oh, drop is pull. Ah, drop. So counterintuitive. Drop, you have to pull. When you put it up, you have to pull down. Okay. And I like this flap here. So nice, so elegant. It just flaps when it closes. Check out this detail as well. There's a Z4 here. And uh, this is stitching as well very nicely done i think it adds a lot of premium features to it not sure whether the other cars the color of the seat belt follows the color of the car you have your end sport here and uh yep that's why i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get in the boot it's not powered by the way because why do you look powered man so short okay so with all this luggage inside here i can still get in Telling you, I can. I'm just the one to give you my stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Ta da! I can get in. Very spacious boot. Very, very spacious boot. Okay, I'm coming out now. Tell me what you think of the car. I think it's very beautiful. Sexy ass. Let me know what you think.